Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Santa Stream. So today <clears throat> we're going to look at IMPC Pro, uh, basically just to get started. So getting started with IMPC Pro. Okay, so this is vastly improved over the IMPC. Um, when you open it, you're presented with the screen. These are all the demo sessions that you can load and play with, and uh, these are my sessions. So first of all, we're going to create a new session. Okay, so this little plus button, this little plus button down here. And these are all the different templates, which is cool acoustic drums, ambient, template dance, hip hop, pop. and uh, But we're going to go with a zero, which is a blank canvas. And they have a cool little loading disc thing there. Now, um, <clears throat> this is, so there's nothing in any of these pads now. And we have my new track written at the top. Hope you can see this okay. So... Um, so we've got this our blank canvas. So first of all, we want to um, add some some sort of uh, some some sounds. Well, we can use your my programs, which I haven't got any. Well, percussion, which is one I altered earlier. But so we're going to put in. We're going to. These are all the different kits and things. Like I said, you can you can build your own. But for the sake of this tutorial, we'll stick in world percussion. Okay. So now world percussion sits in here quite nicely. Just let me check these levels. Just down a little tiny bit there. So <clears throat> now you see it has it has lovely sounds. We have different performance methods here, but we don't want to get too deeply into that. If you want to know more about how all this functions, I suggest you watch the excellent Retronims videos on the IMPC Pro. I know there's a stack of those, and they're really really good. But this is just the basic getting started. So okay, so what we got now? Well, we have our program which uh, relates to the actual sample I just last hit, which is the acoustic snare. And we can change our program around. And we can do different things, uh, filter um, different things. We can add the thing, we can add effects and stuff. But, you know, you, this is something you're going to get into later. Okay. Uh, I will say that, you know, this is not the magic pill of music production. Otherwise, every single person in the world would use an MPC, and they don't. But if you, you like MPCs, and especially the hardware ones, you're going to love this. You're going to love it. And it is a great, great uh, program, drum, uh, drum patterns and stuff as well. Okay. And it's not locked into its own little world, neither. So then we have the mixer. So we've only got track one. Then we have the timeline. And then we have songs. So this is important. Our first, <coughs> so we have track one and it's world percussion. Okay. So we can have up to 64 tracks, which is great. Pair sequence, which is even better. And then we can have up to 64 sequences. Well, I think we can have 16 loaded in. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, <clears throat> we're going to increase it from two bars to four bars. Okay, so now we're going to go back to main here. Okay, and I'm just going to record. Now we'll get a little counting, I think, uh, maybe uh, one bar. But we're just going to arm the record, ready to go, and press play. goes so there's our first our first thing there so now uh, I'm gonna just leave that as an intro sequence and I'll want to do this now so if we can go to song mode and I'm just gonna call that intro <coughs> so intro okay and uh, that's done anyway so there's our intro and you can see down here it's popped up in this little uh, sequence block here okay so there's my sequences and of course we can add sequences up to 64 sequences as well by going through the a b c and d but we're not going to do 64 sequences because i'd be here all day so there's sequence one so what I want to do is add to that sequence. Well, I don't want to have to play the same thing again. So all I need to do is hold this and just drag it over to the sequence I want it. And it will be copied there in sequence two. So sequence zero two intro. And I'm just going to um, call that something else. So we'll call it uh, intro two. 
that's fine so that's intro two now if i go back to my main now <coughs> you can see that it's sequence is going to be playing is intro two we're still on track one and so it's still wheel percussion which is track one okay so i'm going to move this track up to, up to track two which is empty and i'm going to select a different um a different thing so i'm going to select physical modeled drums i have no idea what these sound like but let's see So I'm going to add that to, I'm going to add some to my sequence. So if I, I can press record again and play. Right. Now if we go to mixer now, we have two tracks. First is playing wheel percussion, and the second is uh, model drums. Now we can start adding effects if we want to. We can add our choruses, or reverb. Super. And we can go to effects and make adjustments to the effects that are there. And then we could also add an inter app audio effect if we wanted to, which is very, very cool. So. So you see, <clears throat> so what we've got now is this. So let's go back to song and I'm going to copy sequence two to there. And look, this is sequence three now, which we'll select. And because um, we'll rename that now. And let's just call that verse. I want to call it verse one. So just for argument's sake now we're still on four bars so we could now what we can do is we can duplicate so if i hit duplicate it'll be eight bars blah blah and we can go up to i think um let's see i think it might be 32 oh. yeah 32 we're gonna stick with four uh time signatures available are four four six eight nine eight twelve eight three four two four Okay, so we'll stick with 4-4. Four, four. Now, <clears throat> so we're on sequence 2. So we want to add a little bit to sequence 3, of course. So let's go back to our main now. Also, so sequence 2, we'll add another track. And like you know, you can add 64 tracks. So it's, it is massive. Massive. So we're going to stick with that. So empty program for sequence 3. Let's choose something else. Let's choose... Um, these are the different ones that are available. I don't know. Um, this one. Um, don't forget, you can add your own. You can sample the sample chopping stuff in this is 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 pretty pretty deep. Different ways to play. So. So let's see. Let's add something to that now. And we have full undo as well. So that's cool beans. And then on a hundred, there's our tempo there, 120 BPM, which we can we can change in our in our song mode thing here. Now also, so let's just hit record again and let's uh, get our count in. flashing so as soon as it reaches the end it will jump back to sequence one now we're going to do one more so i'm going to select this and this is sequence four it's untitled and we'll i'm going to make it i'm going to call it something i'm going to just call it fill okay so <clears throat> so sequence four is fill now if we go back there there'll be uh, the last program I had in there, which was this, so I'm going to see what the sort of other banks.
lots of different effects. Some of these will be empty, so you could add your own. I just want to some. I'm going to add some. I'm just going to have a, a fill here, so um, sort of record and play. And actually, what I want to do is go to song and sequence score is a fill. I only want that for, and I have it for one bar. Where have I got to go? Now it looks like I can't have a one bar fill. Well, that's a bit sad. Never mind. Okay, so anyway, we've got this. It would be good if. if I may be doing something wrong, but it doesn't look like I can have just one bar. It looks like I have to have multiples. No, multiples, but I can't go down to one. It's just a shame, because it feels nice at one bar. But anyway, there you go. So now we've got our, our little sequence. Um, what we can do now is go to Arrangement. And this is quite cool. <clears throat> so well, I'm going to play. What we need to do is drag it there. And we see Sequence 1 Intro. And we'll have that play twice. And then we'll have sequence. Actually, let's just delete sequence two a sec. And let's have our actually no, what we need to do is make make this make sense. So there you go. And then we'll put that there, the fill. And then we'll go sequence two. And then sequence three. And then we'll end <laughs> end with the fill. So what we can do now is play the song. Very, very easy to create songs and patterns. So we've got that now. So let's say, I mean, you know, you can you can understand that there's thousands and thousands of sounds. You can pick sounds, synth sounds, drum hits, anything you like. So all we need to do now is we can export the song, which will save it as a WAV file, and you can access it through iTunes or that, you or you can stick it on SoundCloud. You can share the song. I would imagine via email or what have you. But let's audio copy the song now, so it renders our audio into a wave. Brings and it'll open up uh, Retronym's audio copy and paste. This takes a little while. To load. There you go. And we'll call this um, Doug Test. Okay. And then we just copy audio and it's done deal. So let's. Um, don't need to wait just that's just done. All right, okay, done. And we'll just close that for a sec and we'll go and find audio share. Which is cool. So let's see here. Audio copy two. And uh IMPC Pro sound. So I did one earlier just to test this called Doug IMPC Pro. We'll just play this one. And we'll just paste it in, sorry. Uh, so here's our uh, here's what I've just done. So brilliant. So now, obviously, you can choose to open this in anything you like. So just for fun here, we'll um, we'll open it in. Aurea, because I'm doing a video for Aurea a bit later. And if we go to menu now, um, 
and import audio we will see that our uh, duck test thing is now here and we can play it in Aurea and then of course we could uh, we could import this and it's going to be on there like that and we can just go okay and see what happens and it should have uh, I don't know what it's where it's, I don't know where it's put me track it doesn't put it anywhere <laughs> I don't see. I don't. I'm doing like I said. I'm doing a video for audio, so I've only just started messing around with it again. But anyway, um, so an ad track, one audio track, one stereo audio track. Okay, ah, right. Okay, so it's there. So we can select that track and uh, hit import audio, and uh, that one, three, and okay. There it is. <laughs> so I'm not going to play it because it will just stand and mess with the other things that I've got in there. But there you go. So there's that. Um, and how to get our stuff around. Let's see what else. So anyway, you, you can see that this is uh, pretty darn cool. There's a timeline as well. So that's the basic features, guys. You know, you like I said, you have a, for each... For each... each uh, Thing, you can apply effects so let's say different ones you know and then there's globe like I said the global effects in, the, in your mixer that you can control and you can add any interrap audio effect you like so this is it's it's a really really it's a it's a deep thing but it's an easy thing to get started with the workflow is great this 3d performance here I mean for instance you've got things like it and it'll 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 record anything that you anything that you record in whilst things are playing. This full level thing will I think more or less refers to if you've got it plugged into a MIDI controller, you know, an MPC pad thing. Um but like I said, the fact that you can have sixty four tracks, all different things, import your own samples. There's lots of very, very cool stuff going on in this in this uh, in this app. So again 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 you have the You have the 16 level play. Who you wanted to play like things? You can erase, pad mute, track mute, next sequence, note repeat. So, same thing, uh, type of thing as well. <clears throat> so, very, 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 very uh, detailed work. New sounds here. You can record new sounds in. Um, Different things, turntable, inter app. So it's really cool. It's it's really, you can resample. So lots and lots and lots of great ways to edit edit sounds. So you can import your own sounds as well. And then you can do all this cool editing stuff. But like I said, I suggest you seriously, seriously watch the videos that Retinum did because they're really good. And uh, but this I hope gives you a basic idea of how easy it is to get started. You can select from all these things. Just carry on adding tracks up to sixty four tracks, different sequences, you know. And it'll give you sixty four sequences, you know. But remember that the bars are set at two bars. Doesn't look like we can go down to one bar, but you know we can work around that. All right. Oh, this is a cool one as well. Uh, just let me play this t two finger tape stuff. Things nice. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. hope you found it uh, useful at getting started with IMPC Pro. And I'll see you later.